Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. Uh, today I have got for you a video on how to get the diagnostic trouble codes, DTC codes, from a C5 Corvette. This is not mentioned in your owner's manual, but it's very common knowledge that you can get them. You don't need a, a code reader to plug into the OBD2 port. You can get the codes displayed right up on your driver information center. Why GM doesn't put this in the owner's manual, I have no idea. Um, but uh, one of my other um, viewers uh, had asked me a question on, on one of the other videos about uh, DTC codes, so I thought it would be a good idea to put this up for you. Uh, first thing you do is get in your car, put your key in, turn it once, twice. Now, I've already got a code. It said service ABS, service traction control, service active handling. Now, why am I getting all those codes? That's the trunk open. Um, the reason I'm getting those codes is because I disconnected my left rear wheel speed sensor. So as soon as I turn the car on, it's already checking that all my speed sensors. I disconnected one of them. That was to simulate a problem like you're driving down the road and a piece of trash flips up under your car and it cuts that wire. It's just a it's just a wire on each of the corners of the car. Um, so what I have to do is reset all of these just by pressing the reset button. And then I'm going to go up and hit the gauges button until it goes blank. Alright, so now I've got a blank screen. Now what I do is I hold down the reset button no, I'm sorry, hold down the options button, button number four, the options button, and press fuel four times. One, two, three, four. And it goes in and starts reading codes. PCM, that's your power control module. TCS, there's my code, C1234. So you want to write that down. It's going to go through these codes pretty fast. Then it will go to a manual mode where, it, where you can press buttons. I'll show you how to do that and you'll get the code slower. It's going through HVAC, that's your air conditioning and heating, left door control module, right door control module. Uh, SEM, I don't remember what that is off the top of my head. Uh, radio, no more codes. Now it's going to switch into manual diagnostics. So there's number 10, my power control module, no codes. And I can hit uh, options, number 4, and it goes to the next module. Now here's where I'm getting my wheel speed sensor codes. 28 TCS. And to read those codes, oh, to read those codes, there, I hit the gauges button, number two, and there's one of the codes, C1232, H is history, C1233, H is history, C1234, H is history, and C is current. Now, the history ones mean it the code happened and then it went away by itself, more or less. Current codes means you've got a problem and you've got to do something. What I'm going to have to do in this case is plug that wheel speed sensor back in, but I'm just showing you how it works. So we hit the gauges button, number two, to cycle through the three codes that we had. Now we'll go back down to options and we can go through the rest of the modules and I don't think I had any codes on the rest of the modules. Okay, if we want to go backwards we hit the trip button, number, so it's number four to go forwards, number three to go backwards. Now to reset, I'm going to hold down the reset button 
for about three or four seconds and there's one code that's not going to reset. Why is it not going to reset? Because it's a current code. The history codes reset. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and plug in that wheel speed sensor and then uh, we'll check the codes again. Okay? Okay, I'm back. I uh, I plugged it in. I think I did it with by I did it blind, just reaching up under there with uh, with my hand. Uh, so let's try this again now. The same thing. Key in. Turn once. Turn twice. And I'll see a revert reserve fuel comes on. So we'll reset that. And we're not getting any of that service active handling or any of those other messages. Let's go into codes. Push down trip. No, push down options and hit fuel four times. One, two, three, four. Don't worry about what comes up there. Ten, no codes. Twenty-eight. All right, the C1234 has gone to a history instead of being a current code. So we'll just go through the rest of the codes and then we're going to uh, go back and clear that history code. Excuse the noise in the background there. Okay, no more codes. Now we're into manual diagnostics. We hit options to go forward. One code. I'm going to hit reset hold it down, holding down reset, and it's cleared. Now let's go through the rest. No codes, no codes, no codes, no codes, no codes. That's what I like to see. No codes. Uh, so that's basically it. To get into it, turn your key on, two clicks, hold down options, hit fuel four times fast. When you get these codes, write them down. If you write fast, you can get them on the first pass. If you don't write fast, you can go into manual codes. Um, the ones that are history, usually you can ignore them, although they may provide some helpful information as to what's wrong with the car. Now, you can't just clear codes if it's a current code. If it's a current code, it means you've got to fix something on the car, okay? You don't just clear the code and think everything's good. Uh, you can go on the internet and find out what the codes mean. I I printed out I printed out the codes. Uh, I don't know if it's going to show up or not. Let me try close up. Uh, I'm holding my finger right above the uh, there's C1234 left rear wheel speed circuit open. I don't think you'll be able to read that. But anyway, that's what it says. Uh, there's a lot of codes. I'm not going to read them all off to you. You have to go on to uh, the Internet, go to a uh, Corvette-type forum, or Google it, and you'll find all the codes and what they mean. And they will give you a very good idea about what needs to be replaced or repaired on the car. Okay, hope this is useful. If you have any questions, post them up uh, to my uh, video. I'll, uh, I'll answer them. Froggy out. Have a great rest of the week. Bye-bye.